Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video we will show you how to remove the uninstalled apps from the background login section in your Mac. For example, currently in the background login section on my Mac OS Ventura, you could see three installed apps are there. Out of this, if I remove the Team Viewer app from my Mac, then this Team Viewer section still remains there in the along in the background section. So I will show you how to remove this. So for that, let me first show you what exactly is the issue. So if I remove the Team Viewer app from my Mac, just a minute. So with this, I am uninstalling the app, and it's now asking for the authentication. If I do so and hit enter, you could see the app has now been uninstalled from my Mac. But if I restart the system settings menu and I would show you the items, it would still be there in the login item section. As you could see, the team viewer is still there in the login items, even though the app is no longer on my Mac. So in this video, we'll show you how to remove any such app that remains on your Mac after that app has been removed from your PC. So let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to open the Finder menu. Once you have opened Finder, you'll have to head over to the following location. It's the user directory, library, and launch agent. So in my case, the user directory will be Sadek. So I'm going to Sadek, then library folder. After that, launch agent. Now verify if there is any file in this directory or not regarding the app you want to remove. In my case, I want to remove team viewer. But as you could see, in this launch agent folder, there is no such file for team viewer. The first two are for Google Chrome and third one is for Steam. So in my case, there is no such file. If you find any file for your app, make sure to remove this from this location. And yes, one more thing. You could also directly access this location by copying it and then opening Finder. Click on Go, select Go to folder and then just paste the location here and hit Enter. It will take you to this location. Now, if you find any file, please remove it from here and then move over to the next folder. This library is the root directory library. So go to the Macintosh HD, which is the root, and then go to Launch Agent. And if you find any file for the app that you want to remove, then delete them from here. In my case, as you could see, I want to remove Team Viewer, and both the Team Viewer files are present here. So select them and hit Delete. Again, similarly, you could also just copy this location, open Finder, click on Go, go to Folder, and then paste that location and hit Enter. This will take you to this location. So in my case, I want to remove both these files. So let me delete it. The file has been removed. As you can see, both the files have been removed. After that, head over to the library launch demons location. This is also for the root directory. So again, open system settings or rather the finder window, then select Macintosh HD, go to library and go to launch demons. As you could see again, the team viewer files are there. If your file is also there, make sure to remove them. And as before, you could also simply copy this location, then go to go, go to folder and paste that location here. And you could access it and then hit enter. So make sure to remove all the files corresponding to this app. So once deleted, it will again ask for the password. So type in and hit enter. And now once all the files have been removed from all these three locations, just to recall, the first one is for the user directory, library launch agents. The next two are for the root directory, Macintosh HD, library launch agents and library launch demons. Make sure to remove all the files corresponding to that app. Once that is done, close the system settings and then restart it once again. Now launch system settings and go to login items and click on it and wait for a few seconds. You will see that the app is now gone. So guys, this was all from this video on how you could remove the app from the allow in the background section that has been uninstalled from your Mac. If you still have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. I will get back to you with a solution. And thanks a lot for watching.